are looking at, at smart energy as everything which mm -hmm. is not destroying our planet. The Energy Hackathon is a very, very new initiative. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't have a smart energy hackathon in Thailand so far. Mm -hmm. Also in the region, this hasn't happened. Mm -hmm. So maybe to, to go back a little bit and be a bit more precise on smart energy. Sadika, welcome to Thailand Today program. I'm Kusuma Yotasamut. Smart energy refers to the intelligent integration of renewable energy sources, efficient distribution, and optimal consumption. Nowadays, Thailand is advancing software solutions for energy in Southeast Asia, which is outstanding for GIZ Thailand, which provided international cooperation services for sustainable development based in Bangkok. See this properly and start Smart Energy Hackathon 2017. Today we will talk with Mr. Thomas Kromeska. He is the Director of Renewable Energy GIZ Thailand, which provided international cooperation services for sustainable development based in Bangkok. Well, he will tell us about how to create the smart energy for the future. Please join me to welcome Mr. Thomas Kromiska. He's the Director of Renewable Energy GIZ Thailand International Cooperation Services for Sustainable Development based in Bangkok. Sadika. Sadika. Well, welcome to the Today program. Thank you very much. This is another day that's uh, so important that uh, we are talking about the GIZ Thailand, which is providing the international uh, cooperation services for sustainable development uh, uh, of the energy. So before we get into the, to the spot topic of today, the Smart Energy Hackathon 2017, tell us about this uh, Smart Energy place. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, we can start with Smart Energy. Mm. So for us, um, we are looking at, at Smart Energy as everything which mm. is not destroying our planet. Uh -uh. We have a problem. Um, uh -huh. CO2 emissions are at a very high level. Um, mm. So we, we think that we need to do something to save our planet. Mm. And we are looking at energy because en the energy mm -hmm. sector is the main culprit which mm. is producing the CO2 mm. emissions. So we are mm. looking for new ways to produce energy that does not destroy the planet. Mm. So we have a uh, planet saver here to tell us. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us uh, briefly about, uh, what I should call history or what, I don't know, because uh, the Energy Hackathon 2017 is being, this is the first time? Oh, what? Yes, so the, um, the Energy Hackathon is a very, very new initiative. Um, mm -hmm. We didn't have a smart energy hackathon in Thailand so far. Mm -hmm. Also in the region, this hasn't happened. Mm -hmm. So maybe to, to go back a little bit and be a bit more precise on smart energy, mm -hmm. we usually talk about renewable energy and energy efficiency as the main pillars mm -hmm. for a mm -hmm. smart energy mm -hmm. system. Mm -hmm. And the smart energy hackathon now is combining this with digital solutions. Mm -hmm. So we think digital solutions mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. energy space will become much more important mm -hmm. um, for Thailand, for the region, and this is what the hackathon is looking at. But actually, how is this going to be safe? I mean, it's uh. shocking. In, in <laughs> yes. I myself wondering what's going on, I mean, with the yes. saving energy, saving energy, saving. Yes. So how could okay. you say that? Um, well, so first of all, I think the the challenge is to transform our energy supply structure. So uh -huh. we, we want okay. to go away from fossil fuels, we uh -huh. want to go towards renewable energy uh -huh. to energy efficiency. Okay. And the challenge is not anymore the hardware cost. It's mm. not anymore that solar is expensive or mm. that energy efficiency is expensive. Okay. The prices have come down so much in uh -huh. the past 10 years, 15 years, uh -huh. that now it is more a challenge of business models of how to apply these new technologies. Okay. And the digital space uh -huh. will produce a lot of business models um, uh -huh. for for renewable energy to be deployed. Uh -huh. So people will be engaging in a collaboration over 
Yes, so for the hackathon, a hackathon is a creative event. Um, mm -hmm. So the word is uh, composed out of something like a marathon uh -huh. and a hack to hack. Yeah, to, hack uh -huh. so to hack here is uh -huh. used in the sense of an exploratory software programming, uh -huh. not in the sense of to hack into a, somebody into a, into something a system, bad. right? Uh -huh. So it's the positive word. And, uh -huh. and marathon or a marathon basically means it's a 48 hour event uh -huh. where people get together, get together uh -huh. they get a chance challenge. Uh -huh. We're putting up real life challenges. Uh -huh. We can talk about this later. Okay. Um, and they work on this. So they're uh -huh. trying to produce solutions. So it is a very creative event. People uh -huh. from different professions come together, coders, product designers, mm. renewable energy experts, mm. and then they produce hopefully something great. Mm. They would be in Thailand from the whole Southeast Asian or uh, the whole world? We have the um, global one. Probably 70% of the participants are from Thailand. 30% uh -huh. are coming from Singapore, Malaysia, uh, Jakarta, the Philippines. Uh -huh. We have one team from China coming in as well. Uh -huh. So it's it's regional, I would say. Uh -huh. Well, see from the number you said 70% uh, from Thailand. That shows that Thailand is a place where capability is there. Yes, so that was also our hypothesis when we mm. started these activities. Mm -hmm. We said that Thailand is um, a country which is looking to um, foster and support innovation. Mm -hmm. We see this in the whole region, so this mm -hmm. is why we think the region is very, mm -hmm. very um, supportive to this, but mm -hmm. particularly Thailand, also the colleagues in Singapore are very mm -hmm. supportive. So mm -hmm. yeah, we, we see a lot of um, interest in this kind of event. Mm -hmm. so the one kind of inspiration means the inspiration of this project is what it's just to save like you said well the ins so s s smart energy software is not going to save the planet alone right <laughs> we need to have mm. we need to have technology on mm. the ground mm. that is producing electricity mm. without co2 emissions CO2, yes. but smart energy solutions digital uh -huh. solutions can very much help this i can try to give a few examples okay um, please do if you look at Fossil fuels you can produce whenever you need power, right? Mm -hmm. You burn coal when yeah. you need power. power. Uh -huh. Renewable energy works differently. Uh -huh. When the sun shines or when the wind blows, then you have power. So you need to store it once it is uh -huh. produced in batteries, for uh -huh. example. Uh -huh. So the, the challenge here is to make use of the availability of renewable energy. Mm -hmm. Now, as you can see, forecasting on when this wind and when this solar becomes mm. available mm -hmm. will be a very important part, right? Mm -hmm. To know exactly mm -hmm. when do you have high demand, when do you have high supply. Mm -hmm. So here, a digital solution would be um, combining this with an artificial intelligence, which mm -hmm. learns on when solar is available, particularly in Thailand, for mm -hmm. example, mm -hmm. and then coming up with much more accurate um, mm -hmm. prognosis mm -hmm. of when it'll become available. Mm -hmm. So the first companies are starting to do this and look into Your this. Company. Not my company, but... I mean, the GIZ. <laughs> GIZ, <laughs> we, are, you mean? we are trying to support companies who do this, uh -huh. or with this activity, basically what we are trying to do is to create a smart energy ecosystem in Southeast mm. Asia. Mm. So that will look at getting startups into the mm. into the mm. region who are working on this, mm -hmm. but also having um, organizations like accelerators or incubators that are helping startups mm -hmm. involve the mm -hmm. government. Mm -hmm. Some of the startups may come up with good ideas, but uh -huh. then there's governmental regulation that is needed uh -huh. to address. Mm -hmm. So we want to facilitate this whole ecosystem and make sure that the different parts fit mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So have the Thai government heard of this? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. um, so we are talking with the um, Ministry of Energy, obviously. Oh. Um, so working very closely, GIZ oh. and the other energy projects we're mm -hmm. having, we're working very closely with the oh. Ministry of Energy, particularly on this project. I had a meeting last week. Um, the government is very interested in that, but also in the Ministry of Industry. Mm -hmm. Thailand 4.0 strategy focuses mm -hmm. very much on startups. So mm -hmm. yes, we are in touch with the government. Mm -hmm. So uh, let me let come back to this uh, energy hackathon 2007. Mm -hmm. So what? That means the companies, like you said, putting sitting together. Can you get into the yeah, details of sure. that, please? Yes, um, it, it was a bit ex big, big experiment. We have now about 100 registered participants, uh -huh. and they are from different from different professions. So okay. some are coders, programmers. Okay. Okay. Some are product designers. Uh -huh. Some are just students uh, uh -huh. who come with a good idea. Mm -hmm. And we have the smart energy experts. Mm -hmm. Some of them already applied in teams. Mm -hmm. So the teams will be three to five people. Mm -hmm. um, and they say, oh, we already know what we want to work 
work on, we have mm. an idea, mm. and they are coming. But others just come and say, hey, I want to be a part of this. Mm. So we will put them into teams. Mm -hmm. So on Friday night, we start, um, uh -huh. and we have uh, an opening and uh, um, a few drinks and get people in a good mood. Uh -huh. And then on Saturday morning, the teams will get together and they start working on the different challenges. Uh -huh. So where is the venue? The venue is at Chulalongkorn University, a oh, very nice huge. venue. Okay. Um, it's the CU Innovation Hub, um, which is supporting us in this activity, uh -huh. one of the partners. Uh -huh. Very nice venue, 18th floor, looking over the city. So it'll be very inspirational, I'm uh, sure. So each group sitting in one floor or what? No, um, oh. so it'll be one big floor. Big and then floor. we have teams of five people, uh -huh. 100 participants, uh -huh. so roughly 20 teams. Okay. Um, and they can use the time pretty much as they want. Mm -hmm. um, so they, if they want to work in their team and not talk mm. to anyone, that mm. is fine. If mm. they want to talk to the many experts, we'll have mm. many, many experts on site. To, to help, to assist them. Exactly, yes. Oh. So we call them our mentors. Okay. And we have mentors, again, from all the different fields, uh. from entrepreneurship, serial entrepreneurs, from incubators, uh. um, from uh. VCs, venture uh. capital, uh. financial experts, uh -huh. and the smart energy experts. Mm. So they can interact, they can pitch their ideas, mm. they'll get some input, and we hope it'll be very fruitful. Hmm. Any age, uh, what you call limitation or what? No, not at no. all. Oh. Um, we are. I mean, we. Everybody is um, uh, at the age of 18 and above, I guess. Mm. But we are. We are looking at students who come mm. from university and have mm. an idea. But we're also looking at professionals who have been in the industry for 15 years and say, mm. I have this idea. Mm. Maybe it's a bit more exploratory for the hackathon. Maybe it's just something I want to test out for a weekend. Mm. How mm. can I work in a group? And maybe and hopefully that's what we are aiming for some of these ideas can be taken further and mm. can be taken into ventures afterwards mm. so ideally we want to produce ideas that afterwards can be followed up in the reality uh, it is not just imagination. No, no. No, I just cannot just imagine. I can no, do this, that, but, <laughs> but at the end, it cannot be used. Yes, it has I agree. to be. It has to be brought to use. Yes, I agree. We are. We are. We will definitely see prototypes or ideas in in different stages, mm. but we're aiming to have those which we can carry on. Mm. But this is also a matter of um, one hackathon mm. is not going to produce necessarily mm. a new startup. Okay. So we really put the focus uh. on it is a creative event which uh, is testing a lot of things mm, it is testing the interest it is testing the capa capabilities mm, mm, and then it, we will we will have to have a few more follow up events which mm, we are planning at the moment mm, um, to to follow up and really produce these startups which we hopefully mm, gonna see soon GIZ is in Thai GIZ Thailand is a german company right yep. uh, but mm -hmm. located in thailand yes so mainly on what Sorry, yes. yes. Uh, GIZ is a state-owned German uh, government company. Uh -huh. So we are an international service provider for uh, sustainable right. development. Uh -huh. So that sounds a bit uh, complicated. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I keep on asking you. <laughs> okay. Uh. But basically, um, the Germany has the mission. The German government has mm. a mission to help other countries in mm. development. So when it comes to the well-being of people in all oh. different sectors, uh. um, Germany ha says we have a responsibility to do this mm. so our company is in different fields in the water sector in the energy sector in the mm. agricultural sector mm. we have many projects here in mm. Thailand mm -hmm. and in about 130 other countries in the world mm. that means in Germany you also use this we You're already done with this or what so this this program focusing uh, on smart energy and um, digital innovation uh, because, in the energy because sector. Because Southeast Asia is more of a energy, more of a sun and you know, all that kind of thing. This is brand new. Brand new. This oh. is an initiative we're starting now. So traditionally, our project, my project, I have two other projects which mm -hmm. we're implementing with the Ministry of Energy. We have an office in the Ministry of Energy, mm -hmm. and we're we're helping basically the provincial energy offices to uh, do energy planning processes. Mm -hmm. So this is very traditional. Mm. government support mm. work. Mm. This kind of initiative is something we want to test because mm. we think Thailand and Southeast Asia is particularly suited. Mm. So we discussed this with our um, hierarchy in, in Germany. But it is also, I have to say, this is, this is an uh, initiative of many different uh, stakeholders. So it's not mm. only GIZ, mm. we are partnering with several partners. Mm. Well, as a layperson, yeah. uh, I really, uh, so that means, uh, but what, Electricity in Thailand is not that expensive, and we hardly have blackout at all. 
Really? So is that uh, the time that Thailand also needs such a uh, saving of the energy? Yeah, so um, if you follow this industry, um, then you see electricity demand in Thailand is going mm. to grow. Um, it's going to grow, yes. Everybody is mm. expecting this to grow and Thailand has very strong commitments mm. to also help to contribute to mitigating climate mm. change. Mm. Um, so at the Paris Agreement, that was last year around this time, um, Thailand put forward very ambitious plans. Mm. So the plan is to reduce CO2 emissions. Mm. Now, you cannot produce more electricity mm. in the old way. Mm. And stick to your climate mm. uh, targets. Mm -hmm. So Thailand has to find a way on mm -hmm. how to reduce CO2 emissions. Mm -hmm. Renewable energy and energy efficiency mm -hmm. is the number one measure mm -hmm. to try to avoid CO2 emissions. There's others in the transport sector, in the mm -hmm. agricultural sector, mm -hmm. but the energy sector is very important. So this mm -hmm. is why the Ministry of Energy is very interested to see um, how can we reduce these mm. emissions and what inspiration can we take from mm. such kinds of mm. initiatives? So after this, after we talk about all these kind of things, uh, so uh, what, people can go and produce it? The creative, I mean, what do you call, there's a two different parts, yeah? That you say one part of that is someone, someone's producing this. Yes. So we buy from them. Yes. So, what, so what one, one, example for, uh, one example could be uh, um, more and more people in Thailand look to produce solar energy. Solar energy, uh -huh. for example. More and their, more now. Yes. Yeah, for example, on their roofs. So mm. you can put solar panels on your roof mm -hmm. and you can produce solar for your own mm. consumption. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people don't really know about this mm. or think it is expensive. Ah, the, the problem is. It is also expensive. Well, the question is, how do you look at it, right? So. I mean, uh, yeah. The You're right. Solar is sure. a is a, it has a high upfront investment. Mm. You need to pay once mm. a high price, mm. but then a solar system you can work for 20 years mm. with almost no cost. Mm. So a, a, a fossil fuel system, mm. you build the system, then you have to put all the fuel in, right? Mm. So the mm. economy the e e economies are are much better, right? Mm. You have a, a constant cash flow pretty mm. much. For solar, you pay once mm. and then nothing. Mm. So, but if this system lasts for 20 years, you can make calculations. You can say. Mm. My payback is after three, four, five, six years mm -hmm. or whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So it requires a bit of education and capacity building with the people. Exactly. And this is why one of our challenges at the hackathon, for example, mm -hmm. is that is the PEA, is the mm -hmm. Thai grid operator. Mm -hmm. They said, we have a real life challenge. Mm -hmm. And they said, one of the challenges for the participants is to design a digital, an app or a digital mm -hmm. solutions mm -hmm. which helps people to realize the potential for solar rooftops. Mm -hmm. So they want to go out there, that could be through a Facebook mm -hmm. bot mm -hmm. or through a line integrated mm -hmm. app or maybe a new app or maybe mm -hmm. just a website, mm -hmm. which is helping to educate people, hey, solar is actually not expensive anymore. Mm -hmm. I just have to look at it in a, in a longer perspective mm -hmm. and maybe I'll call my supplier and mm -hmm. get a quote. Mm -hmm. So you were asking how would that actually impact? That would be one, one way to show mm -hmm. that. Now I get a really clearer idea. And this is, this is a time for the people, I think, especially in Southeast Asia, to, to turn around, to think about it seriously, that this is a, this is a saver. And also, not only to our country or the world, but to yourself. You know, that you can save your uh, pocket, your uh, that kind of. At least it's contributing, it's mm -hmm. playing a small part. By the way, but is there any chance or any future uh, reducing that so that you know boost up people to to use more and more? You can see on the the panel everywhere. You know, just like in for some other foreign country that we see, but hardly in Thailand. Well. Um, yes and no. Uh, actually, Thailand mm. and Southeast Asia is pretty good when it comes to the use of solar energy. Mm. So if you compare to all the other countries, Thailand probably has the highest share um, of using solar mm. solar already then, then, mm. um, than the other countries. And the share is in, uh, gradually increasing. There's not only solar, there's also mm. wind energy and bioenergy. There's mm. many sources. Mm. And Thailand is looking to increase this share more. Um, mm. So the government is revising their current plans to increase. The, so the target is to go from 30% renewable energy share mm. to 40% renewable energy share mm -hmm. um, within the year 2025. 20, mm -hmm. um, so there are there are plans, and mm -hmm. these kind of initiatives are just trying to help and, mm -hmm. and, and enable mm -hmm. enable this. Mm -hmm. So maybe I can also mention that we have we are yes. organizing this hackathon in a cooperation with um, PTT, PTT, which is the Thai oil company, Okuna, yes. with the PEA, which is the Thai grid operator. Uh, uh, uh. Then there is NG, which is an international energy company. Okay. Um, we have 
um, um, we have Licke, which is a very innovative blockchain company, which is supporting this hackathon as a sponsor. Mm. And then we have another Thai project developer called Blue Solar and mm. um, Wapao, a mm. greenergizer. So ah. there is a, and, and Mint, a co-working mm. space. So there's a very wide alliance mm. of, of sponsors who say like, we need these initiatives. Mm. What I want to point out here is that especially the energy companies, mm. they see this as an, as an opportunity mm. to bring innovation also into, into their companies. Mm. So mm. we see that innovation usually, mm. like the, the older, the more established the company is, mm. the less it is prone to produce innovation so innovation mm. usually comes mm. out of some some players who have a bright idea a good idea mm. who are not confined by processes and structures but mm. who can think freely mm. so a lot of these companies know this and reflect mm. on that mm. and say we are our goal is to help to support building an ecosystem mm -hmm. where startups can thrive, can thrive. Mm. and then we can you know tap into this you know mm. they can support them they can buy them mm. they can integrate them you know mm. there's mm. there's many ways of, of how that can work mm. so just to you know basically to make the connection is that the Thai energy players are interested in this mm. which again is very supportive also also to us mm. very interesting really I, I really wish that Thai people would just be like like somebody come and wake us up wake up, <laughs> wake up. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is interesting Maybe what I what I can also mention is that yeah. um, it's the, the, this initiative is not an is not only an initiative by GIZ. We're mm. working on this with mm. um, many partners. So one of the partners here in Thailand are yeah. um, I mentioned uh, PTT. Yeah, and I mentioned so well, PTT are the sponsors. I mentioned the sponsors uh, uh, who are who are helping us to facilitate this okay. event. Uh -huh. But the organization is done by um, Ch uh, Chulalongkorn University, Chula the Long. innovation hub. So we're trying to be very close to the universities. Okay. The yeah. universities are usually mm. producing innovation. Exactly. Right? The Second partner is um, KX Knowledge yeah. Exchange from KMUTT. Okay. Um, these guys are also very active in mm. building ecosystems, connecting bright ideas. Mm. So when you say we need somebody to wake us up, there's a lot of initiatives which are already happening, okay, and sometimes yeah. it is just about making the dots and making mm. the connections. Mm -hmm. We have another incubator, TechGrind, which mm. is producing technology mm. ideas mm. Uh, in Southeast Asia. All these people see the the potentials, and mm. that is really good. Mm. And, Another main partner is um, the California Clean Energy Fund. Mm -hmm. So this is a Silicon oh. Valley player. Oh, yeah. These guys are based in the Silicon oh. Valley. They say, we also see this added value. We need to make connections globally to help smart oh. energy players to do this. So this is their mission. So we are a, it's a very wide alliance. I think this is also our key success factors together with the energy industry, with mm -hmm. the universities, mm -hmm. with the support system, create oh, something yeah. which can help the Perfect. region and the country. Mm, very interesting. So what are the important regulations for a uh, start uh, for, for this one for the smart energy hackathon competition um, f so for us at the moment we are we're not looking too much into the regulation there's mm -hmm. a lot of regulation which is supportive to startups um, the startups can answer the questions much better what is mm -hmm. holding them back mm -hmm. there's a few things which are also holding back startups mm -hmm. want to be lean mm -hmm. they want to be fast mm -hmm. in the energy sector you have a lot of licenses you mm -hmm. need to have and um, it's it's not always easy mm -hmm. um, but I would say that for the moment we're focusing more on what could be possible right mm -hmm. we think that usually regulation follows technology mm -hmm. so once you have a great technology mm -hmm. regulation will start to deal with it mm -hmm. let's take the example for Uber, for example, uh. Uber is very disruptive, <laughs> and it's breaking. A, I mean, I'm, I don't know if they're. Sorry. I'm not saying they're breaking okay. Uber. <laughs> I think they they didn't really worry about the regulatory implications uh. of their business model so much. Uh. They said, our first day, our first approach is to get our offer our service out there and then we will make sure how we comply with regulation mm. and I think usually this is what technology does right mm. and an inventor mm. usually doesn't stop mm. because he says like oh there is a regulation which is holding me back so yeah. he makes he invents his product or his service uh -huh. and then we have to deal with how can we implement it. I think this is also the role of policy and of government to facilitate good ideas mm. that's why we're talking with the Ministry of Energy and see how how they can help these uh, startups then later. It's great. I really wish you all the best and uh, have a very successful and to come back and tell us what is the solution of that. Very Who happy. got the Thank winner and all that. <laughs> okay, very Okay, happy. our time is up. Thank you very much. And we are now our program with thanks to Mr. Thomas uh, Kromestika.
uh, Director of Renewable Energy GIZ Tha uh, Thailand, International Cooperation Services for Sustainable Development based in Bangkok. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. Thomas Kameska, Director of Renewable Energy GIZ Thailand, which provided international cooperation services for sustainable development uh, based in Bangkok. Thank you so much for being here with us and tell us about this challenge bringing together talents from inside and outside the energy industry quarters and finance gurus who gets us one step closer to a smarter, cleaner energy future. Thank you for watching Thailand today. I'm Kusumayo Tasmotov here again. Swadika.